Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Tovia. We're going to be making air fried buffalo wings. Not just any type of buffalo wings. We're going to be doing apricot buffalo wings. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel. So here in my bowl, I have one and a half pounds of chicken wings. I'm going to sprinkle over two teaspoons of baking powder. The baking powder is to help crisp the chicken up. I'm gonna add some spices. Some of the spices I'm gonna add. I got some spices here from the Spice House. This place has the most amazing spices. Check them out in the description box. I'll put all the information there. So I'm gonna use sweet curry powder. If you don't like curry powder, you can definitely leave it out. So I'm gonna add two teaspoons of sweet curry powder. I have here salt-free adobo from the Spice House. A double is, I just love a double. So I'm gonna add two and a half teaspoons of salt-free adobo. I also have here some Spanish paprika, smoked sweet Spanish paprika. I love the flavor of paprika. It gives everything a nice, just soft, smoky flavor. So I'm gonna add one tablespoon of paprika. Now keep in mind, if you don't like any spices, just change them however you like. And finally, I have here granulated garlic or garlic powder. I'm going to add two teaspoons of that. I'm going to about two teaspoons of kosher salt. Teaspoon of liquid smoke. This is really going to give it an extra smoky flavor. One and a half teaspoons of black pepper. Just rub all that seasoning into the wings. Now, you can do this the night before and let this sit and it will really develop excellent flavor. So I'm just gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna move to the air fryer. So this is my Omo air fryer. I absolutely love it. This thing is huge. It is 17 and a half quarts. It comes with a rotisserie rack. It comes with two wire baskets and also it comes with some skewers as well as a drip pan and a beautiful instruction manual. So I'm just going to set my pan here halfway. I'm going to place my chicken wings on the wire. Now for the flat portions I am making sure the bone side is facing downward. Now, if you want to learn more about Omo Air Fryer, please check the description box. I've used this. I've tested it off camera a few times. And this is actually, in my opinion, so far, the best air fryer that I've used. So, we're going to play around with the time because I'm not sure how long we're going to cook this. Put my glove off. It's super easy to use. There's not a bunch of complicated buttons you got to press. So I'm going to hit the on button and I'm going to select the chicken that's on here. And then because the chicken is smaller, I'm going to just take it to 15 minutes and then we're going to take the temp. So it's at um, 380 degrees and we're going to let it go for 15 minutes. If you're doing this in the oven, then you will probably let this go for about 20 minutes or so. We just want to cook these until they're nice and um, crisp. But in the oven, you would do it at a higher temp, like 425 to 450 degrees. So we're gonna make our buffalo sauce. So I have here a third a cup of hot sauce. I'm using Texas peat. Of course, you can use whatever you desire. I have a brand new product from Nutstop. This is apricot preserves. It is imported from Israel. I love this stuff. Now you can use any type of um, apricot preserves, any type of preserves you desire. Look at that beautiful, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful amber color. So I'm gonna put in a third a cup of this preserves. Actually, I'm gonna use a half a cup. Okay, after adding a half a cup of those preserves, I have some freeze-dried chives from the Spice House. 
I love it because it gives it extra flavor and a little color to the sauce. So I'm going to use one and a half teaspoons of those freeze-dried chives. I'm going to set it together. I'm going to toss five salad. tablespoons of butter. I'm doing this in a microwave safe bowl. So the butter is at room temperature. I'm going to cover this. I'm going to put this in the microwave just until the butter melts. I'm going to do it on medium power. If you're doing this on the stove, you're just going to mix everything until it melts and dissolves. So my butter has begun to melt with the uh, hot sauce and apricot. So I'm just going to mix it together. And then I'm going to cover this and I'm going to set this aside until our chicken is done. So I checked the wings earlier and I gave it uh, seven additional minutes. So I let it go for 22 minutes and they're done. I have an aluminum pan here. They're beautiful and golden. Look at that. They did an excellent, the machine did an excellent job. So I'm just going to take the wing, we'll roll them around in my sauce, put it into the pan. I'm just going to repeat this with all of my chicken. So I got all the chicken glaze. I'm going to just stick this back into the oven. And this is an 8-inch pan. It fits inside the oven, but there's still plenty of room left. So I'm going to just hit the on button and I'm just going to hit the up button to change the temperature to 400. And I'm going to set this for six minutes. Now, if you want to give the sauce, your chickens a second glaze after six minutes, by all means, feel free. And then just let it go for additional minutes afterwards. Look at these beautiful wings. They are so, they smell so good. I just love the way the spices smell. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up. Add this video to your playlist. Please leave a comment down below. Mmm, wow. Look at all those juices. Sorry, I'm shaking. It's the medicine, but that's absolutely juicy. It's not dry. The outside's nice and crisp. Mmm. It's absolutely delicious. The spices are amazing, pungent. You guys got to check out the Spice House. I love the spices. So there you have it. How to make apricot buffalo wings in the air fryer. Thank you so much for watching. And please remember to live and be well. Let's come together and love each other.